Now, I know Caitlin's probably anxious. Aren't you, Caitlin, to also find out did your lab results, are they consistent with PCOS or not, right? Yeah, I definitely would like to know. All right, so give us the scoop. So the good news is on Caitlin's, really her whole picture, other than the fact that her periods were irregular, um, her physical exam was, as we would say, completely benign. She really didn't have any excessive hair patterns or, or bad acne. Um, as you can see, she's not, not overweight. overweight. No. Um, so really not the classic PCOS picture. Yeah. Her ultrasound, to me, looked pretty normal. There was a really thin line in her uterus, which shows that she's not exposed to high levels of estrogen, which we see so often with PCOS. And her ovaries were not enlarged. So overall, I would have to say, very, very low likelihood that Caitlin has PCOS. Most likely, her regular periods are just her quirky body or because she's so active, active yes. in, in her uh, exercise and in her job. We do, as you know, want to protect her bones, want to mm -hmm. protect her uterus, give her some method for contraception. So a low-dose birth control pill is a great way to do that. And when she wants to start a family, again, there's no reason to think her ovaries don't work, her tubes don't work, her uterus doesn't work. All those things seem to be in perfect working order. She probably won't have any trouble. How does that sound, Caitlin? Great, great, Keo. And, and keep exercising because I had a track coach who really kept me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> so we love that. All righty? Sounds good. All right, thank you for joining us, Caitlin.